I'm ZooTapTap, and I've spent the last few hours playing some uh, PSVR stuff. It's sort of my first impressions. I'm pretty impressed with it. It's, um... That's right, Parker. I, I can't see you, but yes, that that's you. Hi. Meow meow! Yes! I, um, I'm not sure... Oh, I'm not wearing my headphones. The... There's some setup involved. I think there's a there's a big meme going around that oh it's there's so many cables and oh my god it's really you know there's a couple more cables than I would have expected to be necessary but really it's not too bad it's you know there's very there's nothing that like plugs in like you can't really screw it up too much and they do a really good job of explaining everything so the setup pretty much what I expected um, the first time you put on the headset you'll probably mess it up. Let's take a quick peek at, uh, yeah, Super Hypercube, sure. Um, if you copy this and a few of the other games here were uh, provided by the developers. Uh, if you're not familiar with Super Hypercube, it's uh, by uh, Polytron, the company that made uh, Fez. And it's really cool. I This is one, This is probably the one I played the most of um, about 20 minutes or so. Um, I didn't really get crazy far. I can feel you licking my f leg, Parker. Um, <laughs> I giggled the first time that logo popped up, so I really like... I'm not 100% sure what you see on the social screen, which is what's on the TV and being recorded. I don't think you get what I hear, unfortunately. But, um... Why is it doing this? I already played. Um... Yeah, I think I'll have to figure out something for audio. I think I have to wire it through my PC, then back to the headset. The audio will be a little interesting to do. Um, but that's just for recording. Um, I'm actually using my Sennheiser, some big old, you know, not quite audiophile tier, but they're about 150 bucks. Good headphones. Um, so this game, um, what you do is you peek, and you sort of try to you know, fit through the thing, and, um, it's pretty neat, and it looks like this, like, 80s, or, like, 70s, rather, like, techno-futuristic thing, um, anyway, so overall, I've been quite impressed, like I was trying to say, um, the game, sh or the headset ships with this demo disc, which I'd re really recommend playing for much of anything. It gives you these five to ten minute demos of a whole lot of different games. Um, almost everything in the launch lineup and uh, oh, there we go. And it's pretty um, you know, they're short, but they work. And I was pretty impressed with I, I started up the Resident Evil VR one, the their kitchen demo and initially I was like, eh, this doesn't really look like fidelity wise. Um, uh-oh, I'm stupid. I'm stupid. Oh, wait, how? I thought that was only three tall. Okay, um, but yeah, I, um, I was pretty impressed. It's, it, the fidelity was lower than I expected in that, in the kitchen demo, but it really worked. It was very effective at evoking the emotions it was planning to. Oh, it's one of these. Um, there, oop, wrong way. Um... So, um, overall, the, the frame rate, I have not had any issues, really, with the uh, frame rate. A lot of people were worried about the 60 frames per second, um, which it can do 90 and, um, as well as 120 frames per second. But what it, what PSVR does is it has this thing called re reprojection, which makes, basically it makes 60 frames per second feel a lot better than it normally would. Um... I don't really have all the technical details, but um, I haven't really found, I haven't felt the 60 frames per second games work, feel bad. Um, Thumper is in 90 frames per second, and uh, it feels really good, but um, it doesn't feel too much different, really. I don't know, I guess maybe I don't have the feel for 90 frames per second like I do for 60 versus 30, but uh, it, it works pretty well. I Frame rate wise, I really don't have complaints so far. Um, I've played about, let's see what we've played. Um, I played about, I played a couple of races in Drive Club VR. I'm still bad at Drive Club. Um, I was kind of expecting this to have, like, more stuff from the original game. Like, um, it's its own totally standalone thing. 
Uh, you get a discount on it if you bought the season pass, though. Um, I played some Waddle Home, which is this three or er, third person um, puzzle game thing, and it. I was. I wanted to try it because I was. I'm curious about th a third person in VR, and it. Uh, it's a game that you could definitely do in you know traditional 2D display, but um, it's still really neat to see in VR. Haven't played. Apparently, keep talking and nobody explodes does not output to the social screen. Which is the thing that I record, which makes sense because nobody, you, you're not supposed to. If somebody's over reading the bomb manual, um, they're not supposed to be able to see what you see. But it also means I can't really record it properly. I'm not sure if you can see me shaking my head on the screen or not. Um, that's something I'll try to watch while recording stuff. Um, I haven't actually started up PSVR Worlds yet. Um, Bound and Volume have some new features. Um, I played a little bit of 100 Foot Robot Golf before. I think I'll really like this one. The humor is great, but I wasn't feeling up for golf today. Um, I played some of the demo disc. I really liked uh, Job Sim. Seems really good, except Job Sim is probably the one thing that I had a somewhat iffy experience with. It doesn't feel like it's really designed for a sitting, like 180 degree movement sort of thing. Because like there was stuff behind me, and I had to like turn way around and. Um, I think maybe if I sat in, like, my swivel chair, or if I, like, pushed my futon back here a bit and then stood up, I think that could work. And I think, um, the move wands worked really well with it. That was the, that was the only thing I've used for the move wands with. Uh, Playroom VR, I thought I had a problem with. Oh man, this was terrifying. So, when I first set this up, I was seeing these green dot thingies swirling around the screen whenever I started certain games. I was freaking out thinking the headset was busted. Uh, come to find out, my um, one of my little HDMI cables was broken, so I just swapped out the HDMI cable and everything's fine. So, um, fortunately, uh, $2 HDMI cable is broken and not the $400 headset. So that was nice. I haven't played that one. Uh, I played some Thumper. Thumper is like holy crap in VR. Um, it's totally playable outside of VR, but when, when the last boss on the first level came up, I, I almost died because I was seriously just looking up at it and gaping like, holy shit. It was like, it really made me want, um, Star Fox because the, the thing looks kind of like Andros. I really want the original Star Fox and Star Fox 2, same exact art style, but you know, high res and you know, 120 FPS in VR. I just, I want that. I, I don't, I want that, not what we actually got this year with Star Fox. It's pretty disappointed. Um, there's this virtual Miku concert, which the, I, I played the demo for just a few minutes and, um, I, it gives you this glow stick as you, you control a glow stick, you know, because you know, at the concert and the very first thing I tried to do was smack another pedestrian with the glow stick. It didn't let me do it. Job Sim lets you do stupid stuff, though. Job Sim, it's like, you can pick up stuff and throw it at people and they react to it, and it's pretty funny. Um, so that's, I played I played those, and there's a demo for Nog in the uh, demo disc that I really liked. Um, I got kind of stuck in it, though. It's like a port and click sort of deal, and there's a puzzle I got stuck on. But yeah, I've been quite impressed so far. I um, I would say if, if you think you would like it, you probably will. Um, oh, and nausea-wise, I have... I've had zero problems at all. I, um, it's a little weird at first when you, um, in Super Hypercube, when you're like going, going through a wall and it's like going to hit you in the face, uh, but you kind of get used to it. I did actually in, um, in, uh, there we go. In, um, in Job Sim, I picked up a thing of coffee just to test myself and I knew I was going to drop it on myself. And I dropped it, and I freaking flinched and like cowered, and like I, it, it felt so real. And it this this really it works. Um, I really I was a little bit worried. Like some people, there was some fud going around that oh, you know you're really gonna need the PS4 Pro to get you know proper use of the PSVR. Nah, I don't think so. The um, uh, hmm. no, it's not gonna fit. Um, there we go. Um, Drive Club VR, I think it's below native resolution, so it looks kind of, mm, it, it doesn't look bad, um, but, um, uh, it, it really has the convincing effect, but, um, it, uh, I think realistic games 
don't do as well as more surreal stuff like this. Oh, really? Oh, well, I'm stupid. Oh, and I think I had a bomb, too. I always forget. This game, you can pause the game and, like, think more, or you can use a bomb to break the wall. Oh, that, that was my best run ever, and I was talking the whole time. Yeah, I really love the aesthetic of this. And um, it's actually pretty neat to see your controller and, you know, be able to waggle it around. It, it might seem kind of dumb, but it feels really powerful. Um, and in Job Sim, you can, like, you control your hands in that one. Take a quick peek at Thumper. Um, yeah, I've experienced no nausea. I even played Riggs. I, fi I, f I figured Riggs would be the most intensive thing that we had, that I had. Um, because you move around with the analog stick, and that's generally a big no-no. But you're controlling a mech, so it feels, it's different. And it's, like, just enough to trick your brain to be like, yeah, that's, it's fine. You know, nothing weird's going on. You're just in a mech. And it, it works. And uh, this game, like, there's certain points where I just kind of stop and just gape at cool stuff happening. I'm trying to keep my head steady here for... Uh, I'm, I'm a little concerned as to how well the stuff's going to record. I, I've never recorded any kind of VR stuff before, so it's a little weird, but, like... I don't think this outputs any music. Like, I would hear it. So, yeah, it's not. I do think that is something I can get around. But it's definitely something very new. And I'm going to be... Over the next few days, I'm going to be trying to, you know, at least get some impressions out. Maybe some written reviews on my website. Um, I'll definitely be live tweeting a lot. If you don't follow me on Twitter, I'm just at SirTapTap. I did a big old live tweeting when I was uh, first doing this um, tonight. But I'll try to do some videos on the games I like, talk about what I like, what I don't. I would say, really, the one thing I think is not super amazing, the resolution feels like it's just good enough. Um, there's definitely some games that feel lower res. Uh, you kind of forget about it for the most part, but the it's definitely not something that's going to do realistic graphics in the same way that like, you know, a 30 frames per second PS4 game would. Which is just that's just how things work um especially if you're going for 90 fps which this game is or 120 which some games are i'm not sure if any of the games i have i think playroom vr playroom vr is 120 i have not played that one yet though i'm not even halfway i haven't even tried half of my games let alone like like i said i haven't really played anything for more than 20 minutes i'm sort of like a child with a new toy which honestly i've been feel like I i've had these feelings like you know, just the stupid, giddy glee of doing some random thing. It's it, it kind of does feel like being a kid again with new video games. You're just like, oh, whoa, new particle effect. Or like, in Drive Club VR, there's a piece of trash floating around. And I was like, holy shit, my head, I can track that piece of trash. And it was literally a piece of trash. And I I had to watch it. So there's, there's, there's things in VR that really affect you that I, I would never have really figured it would. And uh, so far, everything has used the controller except Job Sim, which uh, I got the bundle, the $500 bundle that has the uh, the two moves, uh, VR Worlds, which I haven't played yet, and the camera, which I already had one move, and I had the old model of the camera, but... I figured whatever. The $500 bundle seemed like the best deal, unless you already have two moves. And I also don't know how well my old move, like, I don't know how long the batteries live on those, because I got it at one, it was one of the, it's a pretty old one. But yeah, so far, I'm quite pleased with my purchase. It's very early on, but uh, it's pretty much what I wanted it to be. Um... I would say comfort and everything, pretty much what I expected, or better. I wasn't quite sure what to expect with the resolution. I would say maybe that's the one thing that's a little, like, I can tell that it's lower resolution than, um, you know, the main, you know. Well, it's not res lower resolution. It's just, it's closer to your eyes, which is, you know, it's a dots per inch effect. Which is why, that's kind of why your phone looks a lot better than your, uh, 
computer monitor, even though you're they're probably about the same resolution, they're probably both about 1080p. Uh, just because there's a lot more dots per inch on your phone. And text is dis displayed over more pixels on your phone. But, uh, yeah, I'm really enjoying it. And I, I consider doing a stream, but I don't think I could see chat. And I didn't want, like, the camera peeking on me. I don't know which games show the camera. Because, like, a few, when I set it up, like, it uses the camera to, like get you all calibrated i don't know if games ever like peek at you with the camera or not but uh i don't know. i didn't really want my first experience to be tainted with oh you know we're having stream issues blah 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 but yeah so far i really do enjoy this and i have a whole bunch of stuff to check out and i'll try to share the best of it with you and like i said if you want sort of live updates definitely follow me on twitter and i'll probably post maybe some stuff on my website I'll try to make sure the best of everything ends up on YouTube. Pretty much my main channel, of course. Um, is there anything else? Well, I've been... I kind of touched on it, but I've been really impressed with... I was figuring nausea would be like... Like, I've heard some stuff, like, of just nausea is, like, totally to be expected. And, like, everybody gets it and blah, blah, blah. And it's like... I've not had a twinge. Like... I've flinched because, like, stuff is, like, moving towards my virtual face. Um, but I haven't been like, oh, I'm gonna barf, barf, or, like, really even taken off the headset. When I take off the headset, it's usually just because, like, I want to tweet about something. Um, I can't really... I, I actually, I have a keep With a keyboard, I can, like, share, like, stuff. You know, you can hold the share button and s upload a screenshot, which, it's all pretty cool. I'm also surprised my Dual DualShock 4 did not die at any point tonight. I love the DualShock 4, but it's battery. <laughs> Definitely the weakest point by far. Um, so yeah. Very... Very impressed so far. I'm also very impressed with Thumper, both in and out of VR. I... It's what I never knew I wanted in a rhythm game. Uh, and there's also, there's a couple other, it's a good day for music games. There's also Harmonix Music VR, which we'll be checking out. And there's a Miku thing, which I might check out. Um, I played the Miku game on PS3, and it's kind of the sort of rhythm game I don't like, where it's like, just, you know, you gotta be a perfectionist, or we're not even gonna let you hear the song, and you gotta play a billion songs to unlock a bunch of dumb crap. It's like, it's... It's not bad, it's just not really... Well, I don't like rhythm games in general, it's kind of the thing. But uh, I was interested to see some, you know, new sort of things. But there's a demo, so I'll check out the demo at the very least. Um, I never know how to end videos. You know that? Ow. Ah. Um, ah. Well, that's a good excuse to end the video, isn't it? Um, I was a little weirded out and by Thumper. You, you start with this super close uh, perspective in VR, but it makes sense. I, like, it feels less weird. Your first time is going to feel a little bit weird. Like, I had uh, a little bit of trouble adjusting the thing. Like, I didn't... There's a button you press to pull back the, uh, the head, like, mounting harness thinger-dinger. Um, I didn't realize it, like, loosened up, but uh, once I figured that out... It's been, it's been pretty easy to use. Um, but yeah, I, I'm definitely liking it so far, and uh, I'll try to keep everybody posted. I, I'm really looking forward to uh, to some of these. But uh, I have been doing sort of short sessions. One thing, I, I have pretty big glasses, and glasses do work with the headset, but I decided I would do contacts and i think that was a mistake because my eyes have been really dry um I, I always have this period where i change from contact or from glasses to contacts and then i'm like oh god my eyes are so dry and uh you just got to get used to contacts and then i have to get used to back to get to glasses but uh yeah overall pretty pretty impressed it is a little bit of an ordeal to get on and off but, uh, blech. She kind of tethered. 
Also, unexpected situation. You want to bring... Oh, we're rotating all around. I took off the headset. You kind of want to give her a little wipe down after you uh, wear the helmet. If you get sweaty at all. Because it's, kind of, it's a little heavy, but it doesn't feel uncomfortable. It's just after you take it off, you kind of notice... Oh, got some sweat on my brow. And hello, Parker. My... I actually played the kitchen VR demo, the the Resident Evil spooky thing, and it kind of it does a pretty decent job of you know evoking. Oh crap! There's somebody right in front of me, and like they're doing scary stuff. But I never really jumped. The one thing that made me jump was I was playing Super Hypercube, and Parker bit my leg, and I had no idea he was there. I made I made a loud noise. That's right, Parker. <laughs> So you, you do you do miss a little bit of the peripheral vision. Hello, Parker. Right, let's try it. Parky. Let's try this again, huh? It's so weird to scold you and I can't see you. Hello. Hey, don't eat whatever you're eating. The horror, true horror in VR is a cat doing something you don't want them to do.